Since the 17th century, Paisley has been renowned for its weaving and textiles industries. Every time the shuttle goes across, it's called a shot. And every seventh to eighth row, they would put in a shot that was just a binding shot to hold the pattern taut. Now that shot is called the small shot. Today, the small shot cottages are Paisley's heritage centre for the weaving industry. These cottages are owned and run by the old Paisley Society and it relies on public support to maintain and develop this living memory to Paisley's past. Back then, however, they were the homes of the weavers, of the mill workers and of their families. I think there was 1,000 229 people in the town and, and of these there were six, the six weavers and there were so many apprentices and journeymen as well bringing the total to I think it was 99 and it was the largest trade in the town at the time. Now this is the weaver's cottage and this weaver's cottage dates back to about 1750. I first got involved with the old Paisley Society and small shop cottages when I was a wee bit younger. I used to come here for tea with my mum and dad and I used to bring my children. I was quite a regular attender because I was always interested in the history of Paisley. One of the women that I knew from a way back stood up and proposed me for the committee and whether I liked it or not, I was now on the committee so I was. Come into the parlour. But after the industry's decline, the cottages fell into disrepair. The Old Paisley Society were looking for a weaver's cottage to buy, but there was none in the market. So they decided that they would buy small shop cottages. They were mill cottages, but they were owned by the university, and university sold them to us. And then, lo and behold, the weaver's cottage came up for sale at the same time. Led by Ellen Farmer, they started work on restoring them to their original form. Ellen Farmer, MBE, which says a lot. Ellen was Mrs. Paisley to me. She knew everything there was about Paisley. She spent ages in these cottages and nothing was too much bother for her. It was quite a hefty sum they bought it for, and, but it was just a shell. And then the work started on that. The place had to be stripped, the woodwork was rotten, we managed to crown woodwork from various places. The roof was in a pretty bad state. We gutted it right to its bare walls and started over again. A great deal of work went into the restoration of these cottages. Paisley people were contributing an awful lot to this. Everything in this cottage has been donated and we have a note of who donated what. We've got an old sideboard from somewhere, I don't know where. Now when you get a phone call saying, would you like a Victorian wrought iron court, you say, yes please, thank you very much. And gradually the whole unit became very well furnished. The hard work of the old Paisley Society has seen the cottages become a cultural landmark of the town. But they do need your help. The best way to help is to come to the cottages occasionally, have your lunch, we do lovely light lunches here. If people are interested, they can join the old Paisley Society. Paisley has a long, long history, and I think it's good that uh, we draw as much attention to that as possible. They can also come and volunteer to help in these cottages. We're always looking for volunteers. And an old cottage like this always has great running repairs. So we, we do ask for any contributions and they would be very welcome.